Why, hello and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolid Iron Shield. And today, my friends, I have a fun little question to pose to everybody and see what you guys think in the comments about this question. So, what if the Lord of the Rings Online decided to dive a little deeper into PvP or player versus monster player, PvMP, and basically did a style kind of like the... World of Warcraft. I know, I said it. What if they did something more like it where you could actually have a leveling up capability on monster play? So right now, as you guys know, and that is way too loud, as you know with monster play, you level up basically by getting respect, you're already max level, and you can only play in the player versus monster player zone of the Entomores. What if the Lord of the Rings Online decided they think they would want to take it further and make these classes levelable? I mean, from level one, and have their own regions and areas to level. How could they do this? That's what I want to tackle today, right? How could they do this where it wouldn't get, break the game, right? Because again, my gut feeling is I wouldn't want them to mess with this personally as much, but it would be kind of cool. It would bring a lot more fun into the area of that, that you could be on the other side. Again, that would be basically adding a whole nother layer to the game, which would be massive amounts of work, but could be a fun thing for the future of the game as well. So what I think they could do is they could make some areas dedicated to the monster play, right, for leveling whether it be areas inside of Mordor a little up against the mountains or for example they could use areas they already have and be different dimensional areas for example I don't think having global PvP like some games do like World of Warcraft where certain regions you could be from both sides and just fight each other out on the field anywhere while you're doing quests I don't think that would really add to the game I think that would actually cause a lot of problems and a lot of frustration for people who really already enjoy the game I think how they could do it though to make it something that everyone would love is make it like you know how Minas Tirith if you don't haven't played Lord of the Rings online there are several dimensions of Minas Tirith there's a battle dimension there's an after the battle and before the battle basically the Battle of the Pillar of our Fields, right? There's multi dimensions in that. What if they did that with monster play? They take regions they already have, all they would have to do is make stories for them. It would be a different time, maybe before the you know the, the we destroy the ring, spoilers. Um and they start at a certain level and they have kind of a climax thing and then they have to like deal with the fact that the ring is destroyed and then you have to like maybe you go to Harad or you go to you know Arun or you, you go to Mirkwood or something because there's a lot of areas they haven't really added that could be stuck in the little spots or and they could do like I'm saying dimensions where Mordor has its own dimensions its own NPCs for monster play its own everything and then what they could do is add some more PvP zones, right? Like the Entomors around the world. You know, maybe they could add one around Dol Guldur, or you could they could add one in, um, you know, in, in Rune or in Harad. You know, a P different PvP zones. That would be really cool. Or PvMP, as we call it in Lord of the Rings Online, player versus monster player. Um, I think that could be really a really cool thing i'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about that in the th uh, in the comments i'd think about that the other day and someone else had thought about that too and uh mainly this was my thought though i was like that would be a very very interesting thing to do for the monster play right be very interesting to be able to go from level one right now it says rank one that's how you level up basically it's ranks in the um in monster play and really monster players are stuck in the end wars. it's a big region it's fun so for monster players but you're stuck there and you usually have to worry about being killed while you're doing quests, right? By, by free peoples or you know, normal players on the free people side. So I'm thinking, wouldn't that be an interesting thought to try to maybe not do something quite on the level as World of Warcraft, but just to have it where you actually level from 1 to 40 with your character, your monster player. Again, this would be a rather large revamp to PvP. But if they did it slowly in the background and then implement it where it was dimensional, where for example, all of Mordor they already have for us as free peoples, as, you know, normal players. The monster players could use those whole areas, and they all they would have to do is make another dimension where you wouldn't be able to see free people players, right? Because it would be a different time zone, too, probably. Like, time, um, time in the lore, in the books. And then you'd put NPCs in, make some storylines so they can level up, do some fun things. Have, maybe they'd have them have an epic story about how they're trying to help Sauron 
You know what I mean? Or being forced to help Sauron or something, because I know, like, that orc song, right? The whip and lash one from the old <laughs> cartoon, 1980s Lord of the Rings. Um, it could be really cool. I think they, they could really do some very cool things with that. Again, I don't think the game needs it. I think Lotro is a great game. It focuses on the free peoples, obviously. Um, again, I think it's neat that they have monster play at all in Lord of the Rings Online with these characters where you can play as the actual bad guys as a, instead of just them being NPCs, they can play, real players can play these. I think that's really cool. But I was just thinking it would be kind of a fun little addition to the game to, um, make it more like, uh, you know, where they have a little bit more stuff. You can, you could be, uh, really a player. There's already people who play just monster play. Now the new free to play system, you can play any of these. Once you have a level 10 character on the free, people's side you can play any of the monster player races but i think it'd be really cool to actually have a leveling system where they get from 1 to 40 and um and then you know maybe they could have a rank system a little bit too still that still helps them bonuses in the monster play zone and then they could add new monster play zones they could add you know the dimensions i'm trying to think what else they could do they could implement it more like world of warcraft where there's other regions entirely but now you're going to start squishing the, the map. So I think dimensions would make more sense. They could do it where you could see, you know, a certain server that is a player versus monster player server that allows monster play to um, allow you to kill each other during questing. I don't think that would be ideal for the Lord of the Rings Online, the way the game's set up, personally. But it could be interesting. They could try it. Try one individual special server for that. Um, maybe like a legendary server for that, you know what I mean? So they can kind of do it little by little, right? Then both the max level will be 50 for the monster play side and the free peoples, and then they can slowly scale it up to kind of test things as they go. There's a lot of stuff that I think Standing Stones could do with that. Again, that would be a massive amount of work, and they have very, um, right now they're working very hard on graphical updates, uh, making sure there's no lag things anymore because it's getting a lot better But they're trying to make sure that that's very high quality with the game and that because the game is growing so much right now and then also um, You know other things as well. Sorry my I, I think that could be really really good. I Think that could be super cool um, But again, they're doing so much right now. They've got expansions coming out. They've got new regions coming out They're trying to really give us the quality of a lot of new stuff so this might be a, something that would probably not happen anytime soon, but for the future, I thought it would be a cool idea. So, I think the Standing Stone teams could think about something like that, and uh, I think it would be, I just think it would be a cool idea. You know what I mean? It'd be a cool idea. So what do you guys think about having it where monster players could have a level up zone, and would you think it would be better for them to have their own separate zones in the world? For ex you know, if we open up the map real quick, let's just look at the map real fast. If um, if they have their own separate zones to level up, or a different dimension in the same zones already with different NPCs, right, and storylines, like they do with the Minas Tirith for us free peoples, where there's different time zones in it. Basically, there's actually a horse where you can take a swift travel from pre-battle to after-battle Minas Tirith. They're literally different maps, different dimensions. Um, they can do it because this engine has that capability, right? So again, if we go into, um, here, I'm just gonna go over here real quick so we don't hear that fireworks quite as much. So if, um, for example, down here in Mordor, um, we have these regions. Again, none of this stuff down here has been explored. Now, they may be wanting to, everything's, uh, south of the Mount Doom is not really, you can't get to. Now, they may be wanting to actually add new regions for free peoples for us later, but if they did want to, they can make this whole area a leveling area. It's so huge, you could easily have from 1 to like 80 in this whole back area for the monster players, I would assume. Maybe even more if you did it right, if you really expanded this area, how big it is, because it's really big. And then if you go in the Mordor, again, with all these regions, this is all for us, free peoples. Um, after the battle, but you could do this at different time. You could do this before the, like during the War of the Ring, right? During the second book or something of the, uh, of the Two Towers, where we're preparing, you know, as the orcs or wargs or whatever, and you're doing quests and stuff, just like you do in the Monster Play Zone, and it's just a different dimension, so you can't see the free peoples, right, who are at a different time in here, and the different, different deeds, different stuff. Again, that would be like building a whole nother game for the Standing Stones team. It might be unrealistic, but for the future, it could be something to make sure the game has more future stuff to do, mumbling fresh and spicy they could do for, you know, a few years from now, you know, with the game. I think that could be really cool. Again, Rovanian, uh, there's nothing down here on the right. All of Middle Mirkwood is not used. You could do PvP zones. There's so much areas where we're getting these new areas up here in, 
and area door, right? We're gonna get these two areas over here, which will be kind of cool. But again, there's nothing over here. There's nothing down here next to, um, if I, down here in the corner of this, that side of, um, over by, right above where it says Middle Earth, right? The corner down there. Harad down here, and, and they have nothing down here on the map, right? Nothing down there yet. There's nothing over in Rune, right? Nothing of that. Again, they could expand past Middle Earth, too. They could go farther down the continent. Because, you guys, if you don't know, Harad is not the end of this continent. It goes down. Think of this uh, Middle Earth is kind of like Europe. And then think of Harad as like Africa. It goes way down. There's actually a jungle where the Mumakil come from, right? And there's actually, Tolkien has mentioned of giant monkeys or gorillas kind of thing, apes that live down in the jungle, too. So there's a lot of stuff that they could totally expand on. Again, this map doesn't have if you look and hover there's areas but they do not have there's a ton where you can fit in like they're fitting stuff in from the new expansion shadow and bone coming out the mini expansion right here but there's so much more you could do you could go north right again uh this could be a good uh opportunity for them with the amazon tv series right because there's going to be some stuff in the north just from the trailers we can see that they're traveling up in the north so possibly maybe that'll mean um they might want to try to do stuff to kind of link stuff you know what i mean for stories because again lotro Lotro does a really good job with the lore, though, so depending on what they like or, di you know, agree with, they might do stuff, you know, connect connecting things. They try really hard to stay true to Tolkien, and really, they have the rights around the books and stuff The Tolkien, I mean, that Lotro does. That's why they're able to follow the books, but um, also, it's fine because we get all these fun side stories. But again, what do you guys think about this idea? What do you think about PvP? where the monster play side becomes actual playable units, like in World of Warcraft with the Horde and the Alliance. What do you guys think of that idea? I think it could be really cool. I don't think it's needed. I like to make this game good, because Lotra's already a fantastic game, and I understand they focus hard on, we're focusing on, we're fighting the forces of evil, which they're, they're the raid bosses, they're the NPCs and stuff. But since we have PvP already with monster play in the Entomors, if you don't know, here, they're up here, the, the, we have the, the zone, but wouldn't it be cool to make it where you could have an area of starting and this zone would still be a pvp zone or player versus monster player zone but we also have areas down in mordor where you start leveling at level one for that now here's the thing would people be upset who are on monster player side who are like i just want to play the pvp zone i don't want to have to level up from one to 40 that's more work for me i'd rather just do stuff in, you know, using my rank to level up. Well, the rank leveling up stuff is already hard, especially when you're trying to be killed by stuff. Um, that's where I think they should probably have, if this did come down to it, would there be a special server for this? Where the, where that we'd leave the normal system for normal servers, but there'd be a special PvP server where monster players can level up? Or would there be, you know, what, could they do an entire separate server entirely? That's the world for compare. That's just for monster players. And then when there's a fight, basically you queue up, and those servers will be matched up against other servers that are normal servers with free peoples. That could be an idea, right? Again, that might be too hard for their systems. I don't know if that's a feasible thing for their what they use. Um, but again, I think there could be some really cool cool things they could do with this. Really cool things. But they could also leave some monster players with just the rank system, right? Like if you know one or two, you get two where you get to choose the already level 140 and you keep your rank, right? Let's say you're a, car a player who's had or your rank level 15 for a long time. Um, what they could do is with implementing that is they could make it where you're automatically 140 if you're already high rank on your character, right? And um, and then there's still the bonuses for having um, having your rank, right? Because there's a whole thing that revolves around upgrading your character in player versus monster player on the monster player side that involves your rank to upgrade things, which you saw in my live stream the other day. We were talking about that and looking at that. Um, so anyway, that's that's my thoughts on that. What do you guys think? I think there could be some really, 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 really cool things with this. And uh, yeah, leave your comments. See what you guys think uh, with my thoughts. There's a couple different things they could do. They could do separate servers where they're like connected for battles. They could do dimensional things where we use the same areas. There could be a special server that's just for this. Um, yeah, there's a lot of cool things here. You guys have a wonderful day in Middle Earth. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much to my Patreons for your support. Subscribe and be right there if I earned it. Next episode will be up there. This is just my 
Zolan's opinions and thoughts and ideas. I thought it would be kind of cool. What do you guys think? And over there, we'll have Lauren Lotro Tale, my main content with voiceovers. And I have guys in the place as well if you're a Lotro fan. Or if you like anything Tolkien, this channel's for you. You guys have a great day in Middle Earth, and we'll see you all in the next episode of Voice of the Rings.